what I want to do is I want to go to that first clip here, go to file at the top and I'm going to go to share and I'm going to click on save current frame. But you want to make sure you export this as a JPEG image. Then you're going to go back to the timeline and you're going to go to the first frame of the second clip. You're going to go to file as well. You're going to go down to share and you're going to click on save current frame and you're going to do the same exact thing. Make sure export is set to JPEG image. All right, guys. So I'm now on Kling AI. I'll have a link in the description. And if you guys sign up with a free account, you will be able to get, I believe, 166 free credits that you can use. And then next to where it says AI video generator, we're going to go ahead and choose the video 2.5 turbo. You can do any of these other models if you want, but we're going to go ahead and click on where it says image to video. And we're going to click on where it says add a start frame. Go ahead and click on this. Select the first frame that you saved from your editing application, in this case, Final Cut Pro. And it's going to load the first image here. And we're going to go to where it says add an end frame. Go ahead and click on that and select the second frame image. These should be images. They don't work with the video, so just keep that in mind. So here are two completely different scenes. For this scene, I want to transition the guy in the middle, as you can see here, to this frame here with the cigarette. So what I'm going to do is under the prompt, I'm going to type in the man in the middle turns into the cigarettes the man is holding. This way it knows what to transition into. So you do want to kind of pick out an object or a subject from the first frame and then describe it on the second scene, which is, you know, the man is holding a cigarette. So I'm going to be doing that. Now you can also swap these by clicking this kind of center button to swap them. We're going to go ahead and click on generate. And you can see here it says in the queue generating and let's see the new results. So I'm going to go ahead and click on play and I didn't have the audio checked. So let's just see what it creates and each keep in mind each, you know, each variation is different. So just keep that in mind. I like the first result for some reason. This one came out a little bit better because you can see the building kind of slide in from the right, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, if you add in more descriptive words into the prompt, the more detailed it's going to look. And what you would do is you would just click on download and it does give you a couple of options. You can download it without a watermark. Go ahead and download that. And then once you save it to your desktop, I'm going to show you what to do from here. So now that we're back in Final Cut Pro and you have your video downloaded from Kling AI, I'm going to go ahead and import the video. I already have it imported and it's going to be this one here. And all you got to do is just click and drag this in between the first clip and the second clip. Go ahead and zoom out in the timeline if you need to. I'm going to disable the audio. And now if you were to push play from the very beginning, it should smoothly transition from the first clip onto the second clip like this. And it looks so, so sick. And I want to add one last thing to this. I'm going to go over to the effects. I'm going to go to color and I'm going to add a custom LUT to this video. Let's just say you don't like the look. I created these really cool creative custom LUTs named the creator looks, and they will be available for you guys to use on Black Friday. And it just makes the video look 10 times better. So if you guys want to get the creator LUTs pack, I will have the link in the description. It should be available on Black Friday. These are really, really cool custom made LUTs available for you to use on your projects. You can customize this however you want. You could also overlay, you know, a certain LUT onto another LUT to create a really, really interesting look. So I'll have this linked down in the description. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think of these and I will catch you on my next video.